What's up guys, Austin here. Um, it's kind of bored so I figured I'd just throw together a, a random video. Yeah. I actually just got a uh, laptop. Whoa, what the hell just happened? I just got a laptop hard drive in the mail. Uh, this is actually a co-worker's laptop and uh, he said he would sell it to me but the problem is the hard drive didn't really seem to work and uh, so yeah I just got a drive in the mail I have no idea why it just shut off. I'm trying to install Windows. It seems like the new drive works I think um, Windows 98 Oh shit, I had to do this the old school way. Oh damn. Um, <laughs> I didn't think I'd have to actually do this on video. Um, shit. Alright, so much for a random video. I'm gonna have to reboot this sucker. Huh. I might have to just tinker with this later. I was hoping to just get Windows to start installing. And, uh. And, uh, yeah. And just do all this stuff in the meantime. <sighs> but yeah, I'm just bored, bored, bored. I did a little bit of drinking last night and I'm kind of recovering today. Um trying to anyways but uh oy, just taking it slow yeah I did some organizing yesterday a little bit uh, you can't really see it but I uh, got a uh, receiver it actually used to be my brother's I don't know why he wanted to get rid of it but when he moved out about almost half a year ago he uh, gave it to me and I left it at my parents' house. I completely forgot about it. And uh, my mom asked me about it yesterday, and she was like, you want to throw this thing out? And I was like, oh, shit, I forgot I even had it. <laughs> so I went ahead and hooked it up last night, and I wired pretty much all my game systems uh, to it. I used to have a massive cluttered mess of cords right here, and, uh, it, you know... I used to plug uh, each system into the front here because uh, I only have one one port in the back and it's got the S-Video port which is um, reserved for the Xbox because I have an S-Video cable on that and then uh, everything else I would just plug into the front and say if I was done with the Dreamcast I'd unplug it, I'd unplug the Jaguar in but um, especially when I had, say, my 3DO hooked up and I just got my 7800 it was really bad because I had like I don't know, seven systems hooked up, and there's seven different cables down there, and I had to plug one in, just, uh, and, and then, you know, hope I would actually get the system I'm looking for, but this is nice, it only has three ports in the back, but it also has one port on the front, so what I do is I have uh, uh, three systems uh, going into the back, and then the Xbox is hooked into my, the back of my TV, um, whatever system I feel like uh, I'm just going to put away eventually will go into the front, which right now I just got the GameCube, so that's rolling into the front of the uh, receiver. And then when I'm done, I can just unplug it and whatever. Um, yeah, and then I've got the video out on the receiver going into the front of the TV, um, just for right now. If I ever, whenever I move back out, I'll probably end up uh, connecting the receiver to the back of the television because it also has a massive amount of S-Video ports. It even has a component in, which is kind of cool. So if I ever get an HDTV and don't feel like using HDMI, at least I have that in the back. So that's cool. You see some Dreamcast controllers out. Um, buddy of mine came over yesterday. Um, son of a bitch, did it again. Uh, buddy of mine came over yesterday, and I had picked this up about two weeks ago. And we ended up playing this for like four hours yesterday. We're at the uh, the Tree World, which is the final world before you actually go and you fight 
well, Scorn, who's the final boss, and you go through his final stages after you get all the rune stones. It's uh, a lot of fun playing it with someone else. I'm gonna do a video of that um, sometime pretty soon. So, um, yeah. Shit. I'm about five minutes in. But, uh. Oy. Sometimes I hate computers. And I'm really confused why it's coming up with that. Icon or that message. I, mean, I didn't actually install anything. Actually, you know what? This is so annoying. Um, <laughs> Shit. I was actually hoping to make this uh, emulation machine. Um, my coworker offered me to buy it for about fifty dollars and I told him provided I got it working I think it would be worth it um, it's not a powerful computer by any stretch um, it's only like a 1.6 gigahertz uh, Intel Celeron based uh, laptop it only has 256 megs of RAM but I did some research and you can upgrade it to two gigabytes on this specific board I've never really worked on laptops before uh, as far as opening them up and working on them physically so I'll have to see how I go about replacing the RAM but the RAM is not very expensive well it's about the same price as anything else but I think if I get two gigs in here uh, it'll be a pretty solid emulation machine the nice thing about something like this is well I already have a laptop down below but it's only a Pentium, a Pentium 2 I believe 333 megahertz uh, laptop and um, it can't run like Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis at full 100% speed, but something like this should uh, should do perfectly well. Uh, it should be perfect, actually, and all Neo Geo stuff should be perfect. And uh, it might even perform well in DOSBox. So I might even be able to get a lot of DOS stuff in here. Um, uh, what the hell was I doing? <clears throat> Oh, it's a 1.4 gigahertz processor. Bummer. Oh well. The uh, the old laptop, I uh, I actually paid. It was I think I paid more than I probably should have. It was like a hundred something dollars, maybe 150. I mean, this was back in uh, early 2007 now. So I mean, this was three years ago. Uh, and uh, I kind of customized it just for gaming. There are no uh, no production applications on it or anything like that and uh, I have a background just for emulators and I have uh, just icons on the taskbar for emulators and uh, yeah pretty much I've booted up and I've got emulators and DOS games <laughs> so that's what I'd like to do for this one um, it would be much more powerful I could do much better games uh, like a lot of laptops, it's not brand new, but it does at least have a VGA out, which you can't see on the side. And it does have a wireless NIC card built in, which is also pretty awesome. Um, unlike uh, my old laptop, the old, old one, 300 megahertz one, is uh, I can't even get it hooked onto the internet. Um, you know, whatever the built in NIC card that the guy gave me, I can't even get the proper drivers for it. and. Uh, that's no big deal. I just burn files to CDs and drag and drop it over, 
and uh, because it is on also Windows 98, it doesn't recognize USB thumb drives. Uh, <laughs> craziness, huh? Um, shit. All right. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off. I uh, getting close to the limits. Uh, another boring video. Yeah. <laughs> Good old Windows 7 screensaver. Alright, see you later guys.